welcome to Sunday school. Before then, let's pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us to Sunday school. Thank you for your protection throughout the week, throughout the months, throughout the year. Bless our teachers. Bless our parents. Open our hearts to learn from your word. And bless us today, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Matthew 2 verse 13. For that recitation of our memory verse, God bless you, children. I've got something for you. Look at this. What is it? Yes, an umbrella. What does it do? Wow. Protect me from the rain. Protect me from the hot heat. The sunshine scorching my eyes. This umbrella will protect me from the weather. Wow, beautiful. Today, the title of our lesson is God protects his child. God protects his child. Our Bible text is taken from Matthew 2 verses 13 to 23. We will read a few selected verses. Turn your Bibles to Matthew 2, verse 13. I will read. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there, until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. 19. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, 20, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the young child's life. Let's put our Bible on the side. Our lesson today tells us that God protects his child, Jesus, baby Jesus. At this point in time, Joseph and Mary had received lovely presents, precious presents from the wise men. Right in the middle of the early hours of the night, Joseph helped Mary to unwrap, to pack the precious gifts, which included gold. Yes, God knew that at some point they will need gold they will need money but king herod was not happy about the news that king of kings baby jesus was born so he had instructed the wise men to return and tell him about the news of King Jesus. However, the young wise man did not return. So he was worried. He was so jealous. He was so angry. He ordered to kill 
all children aged below two two years. He ordered that they should be killed. He thought that in the process he will kill baby Jesus. However, God protects his child. An angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and ordered him to flee with his family, Mary and baby Jesus, to Egypt. Joseph listened and obeyed. Off he went with Mary and baby Jesus on the donkey. All the way to Egypt. And they stayed in Egypt until it was safe for them to return. We are learning a great lesson that indeed God protects his own. God will protect you. Joseph obeyed. Joseph listened. May we listen and obey when we are given instructions by our parents, our aunts, our uncles, even our teachers. It is for our own good. We will get a blessing out of it. It will be easy for you to listen and obey, to have God's protection once you are saved from your life of sin. So I want you to ask Jesus to come and wash away all sins. Wash away all your sins in your life and God will always be with you by night, by day, everywhere, anyway. God will protect you. God protects his little children. God protects his own children. I'm sure some of you, you have been in situations. And just like as we saw that umbrella which protects me from rain, from sunshine, God is more than able to do that. You might have been in a situation, maybe in the playground, you fell from a height. God protected you. Isn't it so? Even when you were injured, God suddenly protected you. Nothing happened to you. God protects us when we are sick. Call upon the name of God. Your parents pray for you. Jesus comes in and God heals us speedily and completely. God is able to protect us from all evil that happens around this world. You may be alone in your bedroom. When it's so dark, you feel afraid. God is there. God will protect you. Call upon his name. God is everywhere. God is watching over you. Any time of the day, God will protect you. God, God protects us in so many ways. Some of us, we might be in class with bad, bad friends, but God protects us. He protects us in all ways, in all evil ways that come across us. What a wonderful God. What a wonderful Savior. Wouldn't you want Jesus to be in your life so that you get your full protection? Our statements reads, God's protection is with me. Let's say it again. God's protection 
is with me. That's the end of our lesson. Our activities, ages two to five. Find and circle the words hidden in the puzzle. Ages six to eight. Circle the correct pictures to complete the story. Our next week's lesson is as displayed. God bless you. Bye. Good morning, children, and happy Sunday to you. We thank God for today, for all that he had done for us throughout 2021. And also, 2022, God is going to go along with us, end it with us, fight all our battles for us, give us total and complete victory, and write our names in the book of life, just as it did in the lesson we are about to study for the children of Israel. So, our Bible text is taken from Georges chapter 4, from verses 4 to 15. We will be selecting some verses to read. So, let's take our Bibles, open it, and read along as I read. Verse 4. And Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time. 6. And she sent and called Barak, the son of Abinam, out of Kadesh Naphtali, and said unto him, At not the Lord God of Israel commanded, saying, Go and draw towards Mount Tabor, and take with thee ten thousand men of the children of Naphtali, and the children of Zebulun. 7. And I will draw unto thee to the river Kishon, Sisera, the captain of Jabin's army, with his chariots and his multitude, and I will deliver him into thy hand. 8. And Barak said unto her, If thou wilt go with me, then I will go. But if thou wilt not go with me, then I will not go. 9. And she said, I will surely go with thee, notwithstanding the journey that thou takest shall not be for thy honour. For the Lord shall sell Sisera into the hand of a woman. And Deborah arose and went with Barak to Kadesh. We are ending our Bible reading there. Let's close our Bible. Put it away and let's listen to our lesson. Look at the picture displayed on the screen. We can see all types of ammunition used for war in the olden days. But nowadays things have changed. There are more advanced machinery equipments used for war. And the title of the lesson says, Win the Victory. Now, the children of Israel had been very naughty. They had committed sin against God and God was not happy with them. So now they've been taken captive. And you know what? In their captivity, they cried unto God. They remembered God. They lifted up their eyes, their faces, and says, God, they called on him to come down to their head, to have mercy on them, to fight for them. You know one thing? God will never leave us nor forsake us. If we remember him in our state of sin, that we are not where God wants us to be, and we call upon him, you know, God will surely answer just as he did for the children of Israel. So, God answered them. Also remember, our God is a loving Father. He exalts his word more than his name. God came down to their head. God told Deborah, who was a judge at that time, that the children of Israel should go to war against the Canaanites. And the Canaanites are strong people. Stronger than them because they have ammunition for war. They've got horses, they've got spears, they've got, they've got bows, arrows, used for fighting. And the children of Israel haven't got anything. So, 
that builds up fear in the art in their mind in their heart but you know one thing as i said that god will never leave us nor forsake us god assured them that he will go with he will go with them he will fight the battle for them and give them victory and uh, barak whom deborah chose to lead the army knew that ah if deborah doesn't go with them he cannot go all because the children of israel they all know deborah is a she's a prophetess she's a woman of god she has the spirit of god in her they know her very well the same thing with us when we are saved and we have the spirit of god in us people around us we know us they will know who we are see the light of god in us will radiate they will see they will know that we are different so barak wanted deborah to go with them and deborah decided say, okay i will go barak knew that once deborah is with them victory is theirs as the word of god says if god be for us who can be against us no one and that was what happened god was with them they made use of that ammunition and that was god that they had and our own ammunition is prayer and god himself which the enemy cannot stand so we've got to make use of this ammunition you know when we make use of it it's, it's just going to be victory upon victory success upon success for us in everything we, we lay our hand upon so all that god is asking from us is give him a chance to direct to lead to pilot you that's all he wants tell him save my soul come into my heart come and pilot me show me the way this new year jesus pilot my way i want you to be the captain of my life help me come and wash all my iniquities away You'll be surprised what God what God will do for you. God fought for the children of Israel. God gave them victory. The same God is our God today. He will answer your prayer. But you've got to do what God wants. Allow him to pilot your life. And every other thing automatically will fall in. I want you to listen to testimony of some of us. I would like to thank God because he protected me when I was a baby. Because when I was a baby, I ate some coconut and I'm allergic to nut. And he protected me and stopped the allergic reaction from being much worse than it should have been. I would like to thank God for the time that he has kept us safe on the road. A trailer was coming by, but thankfully, because of his power, it didn't hit us yes that is exactly what god is going to do for us so remember jesus pilot my life jesus come and be the captain of my life god will do it for you he will surely answer trust him and all will work well for you that's our lesson our activity is to fill in the words in the greed and our lesson for next week is lesson 71 titled on the way to victory may God bless us all let's pray Jesus we thank you we glorify you we adore you we thank you for either to that was helped us Jesus come and be our Lord and our God Jesus, pilot us. Be the captain of our, of, of our life. Jesus, show us the way. Go ahead of us. Walk this new year with us. Bless us, O Lord. Draw us closer to you. Pray for us. Make us fit for heaven. Thank you, God, for we know you will surely do it for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Bye-bye.
Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.